Ooh. a day off Twitch was a thing this week. Want to run us through it? Uh, the hashtag a day off Twitch campaign uh, organized by streamers Raven, Lu Lucia, Everblack, and Shiny Pen. Shiny Pen? Shiny Pen? Uh, took place on September 1st in solidarity against the hate raids that are spreading across the Twitch platform. I just want to say I'm... It's been a while since this was launched, but I'm pretty sure we talked about this on WAN Show, and I'm pretty sure we said exactly this was going to happen when they first set up the tagging system. Um, but let's let's keep going through this. Um, harassment on streaming services is sadly nothing new. Creators are now finding themselves targeted with a new kind of attack called a hate raid, in which they are flooded with new viewers and followers, but ones that are simply there to spam their streams with hate. Yeah. The hate raids are possibly... The hate raids, it says possibly, they're definitely a result of this. The, the hate raids are possibly a result of the platform expanding its tag list to include 350 tags classified by gender, sexual orientation, race, nationality, ability, mental health, and more. It has made, uh, far easy, it has made it far easier for racist trolls to find and harass creators. I'm pretty sure we talked about this on WAN Show, and I'm pretty sure we said, wow, this is going to make it way easier for people to find so the people that they want to Here's the problem is, you know, as a platform, you're called upon to uh, increase visibility of minorities and, and help amplify their voices. I'm definitely um, not saying that you shouldn't, to be very clear. And, and, and that's a good thing. Um, but as, as Luke and I, I'm very sure discussed back when these changes were announced, um, how the it way was that done it's implemented. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think what is, what's the word cringe? Is it yeah. cringe? Is there, is there yeah. a newer word? Yikes. Probably yikes would be a little bit of a fresh. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Fresher I, this, this was just the, the writing was on the wall for this. Like, like some, someone should have known at Twitch that this was going to happen the second someone suggested this idea. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they couldn't have done it, but they should have known it was coming and been very, very ready. Um, to, There's to no way to be ready for something like that, though. The thing about yeah. live chat is we've been, we've been through this ourselves a hundred yes. times is live chat is basically impossible to moderate on a platform at the same scale that Twitch is. Like when you have even, let's say it's not a thousand people and some of these hate raids were enormous. If you have even a hundred people dropping into a stream, the chat Be gets clear. moving super fast. The, yeah. um, there's, there's so many of them. Like you think about how fast this could be moving with each of them, even, you know, typing every 15 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever the default chat settings are. Um, you know, that's good. That's a really awful experience, not just for the streamer, but even for the other people in the chat that don't want to see that and don't want to hear that. And the thing it's, is, it's also really, really rough for moderators that like are a lot, a lot of these channels. And I'm saying this because the vast majority of channels on Twitch are very small. So I'm not, I'm not targeting this community and saying that their channels are small to be very clear. But just if you're a channel on Twitch, the likeliness is you're a small channel on Twitch. Yep. Um, I'm a small channel on Twitch. Um, the, the, you probably the vast don't have a dozen moderators. And, and even then, it's, it's going to be moderators and streamers that haven't dealt with that much activity before. So they're going to be overwhelmed, and it's going to be very difficult for them to act. It's extremely difficult to moderate a live chat, um, especially with a group of people that is probably used to just kind of hanging out with their friends, having a good time, and not dealing with this type of onslaught. Um, and there's other problems with it. So uh, if you're offline, um, it can flag your account and Twitch can end up auto banning small users. This was pointed out by Hikage over in the float plane chat. Um, and there's some, you know, some people are saying, you know, oh, well, the obvious way to fight this is uh, follower mode only or even subscriber only chat. But the thing is, again, if you're a small channel, which is who these people are targeting, right? You, you can't chat. afford to turn off your chat, right? Because you're and, effectively... And only chat. Sorry, keep going. Yeah, you're effectively turning it into uh, just a conversation between a handful of people. Like, that's not... That's really difficult to engage with because a lot of the... A, a lot of what's so great about Twitch highlights is the interaction between these huge streamers and their enormous fan bases. You know, they do something and 
boom, chat explodes, right? You will never have that unless you unless you are an enormous personality on the platform if you limit who can talk in your chat. So basically, they're forcing you to either um, just deal with the abuse or remain obscure forever because you have no chat to interact with and you can't uh, like you can't really get into a rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really rough. And and a lot of the verbiage that we've used is is people. We've been saying it, it like a lot of people are coming to raid your your stream. In some I, I would wager a lot of these situations, most of the people aren't people. They're bots. Um I mean the same could be said of just viewers on Twitch. Got him. Got him. Um and, and like if you if you switch your channel to follower only chat, yeah, ten thousand bots can click follow real easy. Um it's it's not it's not gonna matter. I it's it's rough. Um, there's there's a there's a point here that says current hate raiders use one email address to register unlimited accounts. Wouldn't it be simple to limit this and make botting that much harder? Um, I'm going to insert some text here by making it so that you have to have unique email addresses. Um, yeah, but you can also like bucket create a very large amount of email addresses all in one big yep. swoop. Um, so that is only going to stop very uh not high end attackers. yes yeah yes yeah so there will still be hate raids with that system absolutely um the whole thing's just they they should have found a different solution that wasn't tags pretty much yep um you know to be honest though it's tough because i don't actually have a better solution off the top of my head truthfully um, uh, well, it, if if you want to like, yeah, making it easier to the 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 path of making it easier so that if you uh, want users to be able to come to Twitch and go, I want to find a creator of this type, and then find them, yeah, that's going to be pretty difficult. Um, but you can still promote those users with with more more exposure to the you front page. Actually, I have a better solution already. Um, okay. So yes, you can you can do what you were doing, but one of the ways that YouTube um, curates your experience on the platform is they ask you questions about what you're consuming. So when you when you watch a a video, it'll give you like a survey that you can respond to to say what you liked about it. I found it really engaging, or I found it funny, or I found this, or I found that. Um, and so, you know, something you could do is, and this would make it a lot easier to filter out bots before they can actually do any damage, is over time, as a user, an actual user, interacts with content, you could ask them questions about the experience that would eventually guide you to an, an algorithmic um, predisposition for this user to uh, to expose them to these uh, to these kind of every more, type of creator they're looking for, yeah, more niche creators or uh, these particular groups, and it's a longer it's a longer term fix, but I think it's also a better one. Uh, more elegant for it's it's a better one for both the creators and for the people who are looking for them to just sort of naturally be recommended people that you might find a connection with. Um, it, it's mean, it's a difficult it's a difficult thing. But yeah, but it's well within Amazon's capabilities. Yes. Like, yeah. it, to be clear, we're not suggesting a solution that we could build. We don't have the engineering to build something like that. But let's not kid ourselves. Amazon absolutely can. If Amazon can manage to, you know, try to recommend you something to buy before you've ever even heard it, I'm sure they can figure out who you might like to watch on Twitch. So. Yeah, no, this is not some kind of impossible mountain to climb. It's just a, a really, really terrible, terrible implementation. And the thing is, like, I, it's not like I take any pleasure from saying I told you so on this one. This sucks. No, this does suck. And, you know, it, it's it's just yet another it's just yet another reason for people who were already feeling disenfranchised to feel discriminated against it's it's adding insult to injury it's it's and it's just yeah. for me for me one of the biggest modifiers um you know for how bad i will feel about something is how unnecessary it is 
you know, when um when when someone when someone um you know, when someone dies because they selflessly sacrifice themselves to save 10,000 other people. You know what I mean? Um, that's really sad, but some, some good came out of it, right? Like it was, it, it feels like there was something on the other side of this equation that was like, oh, but this was necessary. This is and how it's, it can and be it's justified. Also, sadness is also not like essentially the only way to respond like you you can be or very anger out of you can be very yeah oh, you can be oh, very that, out of that person yeah like you can it's it's a very honorable act like you can respect sure. things like the, yeah but then you look at something like the sandy hook massacre and you go it was just utterly unnecessary you know um and it and obviously it's, it'd be hard to come up with any good reason why a small child should die um but i can't think of i certainly can't think of a, a a worse one than for no reason whatsoever. Um, so, you know, for me, that's that's the thing that makes this kind of hate so much more offensive is how utterly unnecessary it is. The way that the people doing this are going out of their way. Like it's not they're, they're, you're you're walking. It's like it's like you're walking on opposite sides of the street. Right. And there's like it's a busy street full of cars. And you are like. You're, you're dodging in and out of traffic so you can go and bother somebody who's just walking down the street. Take a look at them. Hang out with their friends, play some video games or do whatever else, and you're just ruining their day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sucks. whole thing sucks. Yep. Yeah.